lateral loss of of pain touch and temperature this is the box number 5 box number 5 box number 5 write down carefully so box number 5 talk about ipsy lateral loss of position vibration sense ipsy lateral upper motor neuron lesion contra lateral loss of pain touch and temperature so this is what we learned about the spinal cord spinal cord write down carefully okay so repeat behind me so in bound sequat syndrome number 1 ipsilateral loss of yeah ipsilateral contralateral loss of perfect this is brown sequat syndrome so before i go to the next topic of medulla oblongata let me have a quick revision of what five boxes we have learned all of you just listen to me listen to me first so that we just brush up what we learned box number 1 was right spinal lemniscus contain left sided pain touch and temperature second box right medial lemniscus contain left sided position vibration sense box 3 dadrian raudi syndrome recovery phase of thalamic bleed theek hai and there is of course there is contralateral burning sensation in the body box 4 in syringomyelia bilateral loss of pain type temperature so called dissociate anesthesia and brown sequat syndrome ipsilateral loss of position vibration ipsilateral upper motor neuron lesion contralateral loss of pain touch and temperature this is all about what you have learned about the lesions related to spinal cord now we move on to now we move on to medulla oblongata yeah so as we move upward in the spinal cord comes the medulla oblongata so first you draw with me then i'll explain to you all region what you have to remember it the next topic is medulla oblongata the anatomy is like this but before that before i discuss the medulla oblongata i think i should discuss one very basic thing it just a brush up of your knowledge of anatomy this is the midbrain pons medulla oblongata midbrain pons medulla oblongata so called the brain stem here is the cerebellum 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 is attached to midbrain via superior cerebellar peduncle midbrain is attached to cerebellum via superior cerebellar cerebellar peduncle cerebellum is attached to pons via middle cerebellar peduncle and the cerebellum is attached to medulla via inferior cerebellar peduncle so superior middle and inferior cerebellar peduncle this is a simple the brush up of your knowledge what you learned in your first year anatomy cerebellum is attached to superior middle and inferior cerebellar peduncle having learned the basic i think i can rub it out yeah so now we come to the medulla oblongata to so first we learn the basic anatomy 
then only you will understand what is going to happen. Yeah, my law long eta, this is the inferior cerebellar peduncle, we just learned inferior cerebellar peduncle, that means cerebellum is attached to medulla via inferior cerebellar peduncle, we just learned right now. Here is the 10th nerve nucleus, 8th nerve nucleus, 5th nerve nucleus, 8th 10, 8, 15 nucleus. This is the sympathetic chain. Sympathetic chain. Zoom karenge. Close, close up denge. Yeah, much better. So, 10th nerve nucleus, 8th nerve nucleus, 5th nerve nucleus and sympathetic chain. And here is the Spinal lemniscus. Ye right side hai. This is the right side. This is the left side. So this is tenth now nucleus, eighth now nucleus, fifth now nucleus, spinal chain, and spinal lemniscus. This is all right sided. You remember this spinal lemniscus? It's right sided. Spinal lemniscus. It contains which fiber? Left sided. Yeah, yes, it is right sided spinal lemniscus, it contains left sided pain, touch and temperature. Having learned the anatomy, now let us go to the clinical side of medicine. Now this part of the brain, this part of the brain is supplied by branch of vertebral artery branch of vertebral artery, okay, this is the right side. So, structure involved are right sided inferior cerebral peduncle, right sided 10th, 8th, 5th, sympathetic chain and right sided spinal lemniscus. But how he will present clinically? Leave your pens and look at the board very carefully, then I will give you time to write down. So, clinically he will present with right sided cerebellar feature, right sided 10th nerve palsy, 8th nerve palsy, 5th nerve palsy, right sided Horner syndrome, but left sided loss of pain, touch and temperature, left sided loss of pain, touch and temperature. This is known as lateral medullary syndrome. So, write down, now you can write down, you can first draw it, you can <coughs> draw it. So, lateral lateral medullary syndrome. Equal to ipsilateral, same side, same side cerebellar feature, tenth, eighth, tenth, eighth, fifth nerve palsy, Horner syndrome, Horner same side, all ipsilateral, but contralateral, 